My life was derailed when strikes caused teachers to abandon their posts during my matric year. Bear in mind that my mother sold chickens in order to provide for her only two children. She never considered herself worse off than others. But in all honesty, my family was poor. I actually had to learn at a very young age that education was my only ticket to a better future. And I wasn't going to give it up without a fight. Left without a choice, my peers and I taught ourselves the vital final year's work in a bittersweet end to an unjustly stymied year. I passed my metric, but without the marks necessary to begin a university degree. That was the most painful year of my life. But I remained determined to find an alternate avenue to tertiary education. I applied for a science foundation program at a South African university, passed their interest test, and secured sponsorship in the process. Over a decade later, I found myself studying towards a PhD in engineering under PhD Odyssey. I was actually part of the very first African team to develop a system that was set to measure the growing distance between Earth and Moon by using lasers. As a man who was once confined to the perimeter of a chicken coop, now handled tools that allowed my eyes to glide over the galaxies, today I can proudly say that I am actually one of thousands of PhD graduates that South Africa set to produce per year. In, in 2009, our national government had set to produce 12,000 PhD graduates per year. South Africa is currently the only African country among the world countries that produce the most PhDs per year. In 2014, a report was, re was released by the OECD and South Africa was placed on the 15th, like on number 15, on the list of countries that produce the most PhDs in the world. In 2017, the, nu the number grew to about 3,000 PhDs. And we can all say, or proudly say that, there was a huge achievement. But in reality, why do we set targets that we cannot meet? And that leaves us to ask many questions. Are our young stars prepared from their primary, secondary, and tertiary schooling to become PhDs? Will those young stars be taught that it is not really their education, your A4 certificates and posing with, uh, in your graduation gown, hashtag graduation things, that is their key to education or success, but rather it is their acquired knowledge through education and obtaining the right set of skills that promises them a better future. Are we teaching or encouraging our young stars to use education as a ladder that will make them become successful business people, successful academics, people who create jobs, do we even have money as the country to support this initiative? Should we reach the target? Then what? What's next? 
Will that really eliminate poverty, reduce inequality, and provide the foundations of an equal society, as it is stated by our National Development Plan? It leaves all of us wondering. It leaves all of us with many questions. But with these few questions that are just posed, I believe that working together, we can be able to come up with something that will help South Africa to, one, expand the learning environments so that more postgraduate students are able to do up to a PhD. Two, we need to produce many postgraduate students or students, uh, young students, to become PhD and, and PhD supervisors. We need to invest on local leading research and development so that we can promote local production of new knowledge, ideas, information, technology, and, inv and innovation. Last but not least, and this is the one that I consider the most important one, to inspire our young people so that they can fully, fully understand their full potential at a very young age. In that way, they can be able to achieve as many things as they want. With my selection to participate in a meeting in Germany, that opened many doors for me. And it was actually through that meeting that I was able to put together a team of young, vibrant, and talented African PhD graduates. And we were able to start a company. We were actually able to convert an idea. And in less than 12 months, we were a running company. A company that is, has now created jobs. A company that is now supporting students, postgraduate students. Because we want to create an environment where whoever is leading is able to create an environment for whoever is following. My success and that of my company in Dabugo, I take it as an indication of a need for Africa to invest more into education and create Africa that's going to become or that's going to create centers of knowledge. Does Africa really need PhDs? A definite yes. Africa, from my view, needs to have as many postgraduate students as possible. Reason being, this is where we're going to be able to generate new knowledge, create jobs, and be able to support our families, loved ones, and children. And in the process, we all become better people and continue to contribute to the current efforts of making the world a better place to live in. I thank you.